Winter sports are more than just a seasonal pastime. They are a blend of precision, engineering, and artistry. Whether carving down a steep alpine slope or floating effortlessly through fresh powder, the equipment beneath the feet of skiers and snowboarders is the key to their performance. But how are these high-performance pieces of gear made? What goes into crafting a snowboard or a pair of skis that can withstand extreme conditions, deliver maximum control, and remain lightweight and durable? From the careful selection of raw materials to the final fine-tuning of the edges, the process of making snowboards and skis is a fascinating journey where technology meets craftsmanship. The history of snowboards and skis. The origins of skiing stretch back thousands of years, long before it became a sport. The first known skis, dating back to around 6,000 BC, were used by early civilizations in Scandinavia, in Central Asia, as a means of transportation over snowy terrain. What started as a necessity for survival eventually evolved into a global sport, gaining traction in the 19th century with the development of ski resorts and competitive skiing events. Snowboarding, on the other hand, is a much younger innovation. In 1965, an engineer named Sherman Poppin created the first prototype by binding two skis together, calling it the Snurfer. What began as a backyard toy soon evolved into a worldwide phenomenon. By the 1980s, snowboarding had taken over the slopes, with specialized boards designed to maximize speed, flexibility, and maneuverability. The sport's rebellious culture and unique style set it apart, leading to its official inclusion in the Winter Olympics by 1998. Though skiing and snowboarding require different techniques, the science behind their construction shares many similarities. Both must balance strength, flexibility, durability, and performance, ensuring they can handle sharp turns, extreme weather, and high-impact landings. The production process of snowboards and skis. The creation of skis and snowboards is not just about assembling materials, it's about engineering performance. Every step in the process is crucial to ensuring that the final product is responsive, lightweight, and built to withstand the forces of winter sports. Step one, material selection. The core of a snowboard or ski is its foundation. Most high-performance models are built around a wooden core, typically made from ash, poplar, maple, or bamboo. Each type of wood offers different benefits, some provide a softer flex for maneuverability, while others offer greater rigidity for stability at high speeds. To enhance durability and performance, additional layers of fiberglass or carbon fiber are added. These materials provide torsional stiffness while keeping the overall weight low. The base of the ski or snowboard, the part that makes contact with the snow, is made from ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene, a material chosen for its durability wax retention, and low friction properties. Steel edges are then integrated along the sides to provide grip on icy slopes, allowing riders to carve with precision. Step two, shaping and pressing. Once the materials are selected, the shaping process begins. The wooden core is cut into the desired shape with its width and side cut profile carefully designed to determine how the ski or snowboard will perform. Skis have a more traditional camber shape allowing for greater edge hold, while snowboards often feature variations of camber and rocker designs, which influence how the board floats on powder or grips on hard packed snow. With the shape defined, multiple layers, including fiberglass, carbon fiber, and additional reinforcements, are stacked together in a precise order. These layers are then placed into a heated press, where extreme pressure bonds them together into a single, solid structure. This step is critical as it ensures that all the components fuse properly, creating a ski or snowboard that is not only durable, but also responsive to the rider's movements. Step three, edge installation and finishing. With the core structure complete, attention turns to the finishing touches. The steel edges are carefully installed along the sides, providing essential grip on icy terrain. These edges are precisely tuned to different angles depending on the intended use. Racing skis require a sharper edge for aggressive turns, while freestyle snowboards might have a slightly detuned edge for smoother landings. Next comes the base finishing process. A stone grinding machine is used to create small grooves on the base, which help channel water and snow away, 
reducing friction and improving glide. Wax is then applied to further enhance speed and protect the base from wear. The final step involves attaching the top sheet, which is not only a protective layer, but also an opportunity for manufacturers to showcase unique graphics and brand identity. The top sheet is carefully laminated onto the structure, and the board or ski undergoes a final inspection to ensure it meets strict quality control standards. The performance of snowboards and skis. With the manufacturing process complete, the skis and snowboards are ready to hit the slopes. But what makes them perform at such high levels? The combination of lightweight materials, engineered flex patterns, and precise edge tuning allows athletes to push their limits, whether carving at high speeds, launching off jumps, or navigating through deep powder. The way a ski or snowboard behaves depends on its design. Stiffer constructions provide better stability at high speeds, while softer flex patterns allow for easier maneuverability in technical terrain. The width and side cut radius influence turning ability. Narrower designs are best for quick, responsive turns, while wider designs excel in deep snow. For snowboarders, the camber and rocker profile play a crucial role. Camber boards offer strong edge grip and pop, making them ideal for aggressive riding, while rocker boards provide a surf-like feel, floating effortlessly over powder. Hybrid profiles combine elements of both, delivering versatility across various conditions. Sustainability in snowboard and ski manufacturing. As winter sports enthusiasts increasingly prioritize environmental responsibility, manufacturers are focusing on sustainable practices. Many companies now use responsibly sourced wood cores and recycled materials to minimize waste. Some brands have adopted eco-friendly resins and water-based inks for graphics, reducing the environmental impact of production. Additionally, companies are exploring new methods for recycling old skis and snowboards, repurposing materials that would otherwise end up in landfills. The push for sustainability is not just about preserving resources. It's about ensuring that future generations can continue to enjoy winter sports in a world where snowfall remains reliable. The art of making snowboards and skis is a perfect blend of technology, craftsmanship, and performance engineering. What once started as simple wooden planks has now evolved into high-tech equipment designed to handle the most extreme winter conditions. Every curve, material, and design choice plays a crucial role in shaping how riders experience the slopes. While innovations continue to push the boundaries of performance, the essence of skiing and snowboarding remains the same. Freedom, adventure, and the thrill of gliding through the snow. As technology improves and sustainability becomes a priority, the future of winter sports looks more promising than ever. Do you prefer skiing or snowboarding? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Captain Discovery for more exciting insights into the world of sports and technology.